Okay, um, we have a, a few drills that we do here every day. We call them everyday drills. And what we want to do with everyday drills is make sure that uh, fundamentals become muscle memories for these guys. Uh, especially for your younger quarterbacks, these are things that you want to be doing every day. Coaches ask me all the time, they say, we do a lot of things in practice, we don't see it translate into the film. I'm going to show you guys a few drills that if you do these every day, you're going to start seeing the posture, your kids are going to start looking like quarterbacks. Uh, two run emphasis everyday drills. The first run emphasis drill we're going to do is I'm going to give you a run emphasis drill out of shotgun and then I'm going to give you a run emphasis drill from under center. The first one we're going to do is for shotgun. A lot of us run this inside zone, uh, zone read stuff at all age levels. What we do is we call this the search gauntlet. Our inside zone is called the search so we call it the gauntlet. And if the camera can just come around to here and what we'll get is we're basically just going to set a running back, running back, running back, running back, and the quarterback's going to run through this in the gauntlet. And whatever your footwork is or whatever your ride technique is, they're just going to simulate that ride technique, the pull and the boot to the next one. We want to set the boot a little bit further wider than what they would normally go do for when they're going to start rolling their hips down into the throw. So it's about five yards in this case here. So Jazz, just take us through the first search gauntlet. Hit. Good. 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 And now let's line it up. We're going to do it to our left. What's critical here in terms of coaching points is regardless of what the footwork is, in our search we have a full ride with just a little bit of a giddy up to right here. Regardless of what your footwork is, that's what you want to emulate right here. That's, that's what it is we're putting together. So we want to make sure that we're getting the proper footwork and then, the other, and then beyond that progression, we want to emphasize the boot off of the footwork, okay? This is a good drill to do that because it allows him to set his eyes to where his boot target's going to be when he pulls. Go ahead. Good. 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 Eyes, eyes downfield, Jazz, on your read. That's it. Good. Excellent. Okay, so that's our gauntlet, that's our shotgun everyday drill. Now what I'm going to do, uh, quarterbacks, can I get a line of running backs right here? Right here? And I want you to face down this line just right here. Jazz, this is going to be our under the center, uh, under center uh, uh, simulation. So what he's going to do is he's going to be under center. The biggest problem we have when we hand off under center with our quarterbacks is, is the target, where their aiming point is when they open. And we, we have a concept here where we say under open. So if I've got to take an aiming point that's back here and I've got to find that running back, our quarterbacks naturally, they just open to here. Well now when that, when that running back's got a sharper angle, now for me to recover, I've got to cross over and fall away. So what this drill is going to emphasize is it's going to over open our quarterback. We are always going to open him straight to 180 degrees back and he is going to find the running back. So when I say hit, all I want you to do is you're going to run down, okay, back up just a bit, Mac. Okay, when I say hit, you're going to run straight downhill at the quarterback. You're going to flip to 180 grills, you're going to run straight to him. Uh, yep, yeah, just open right up to your left and you're going to run straight back and attack the running back. Now you're going to look at me, Mac, because when, whenever I go like this, you're going to break that way. When I go like this, you're going to break that way. And what our quarterback has to do is it doesn't matter which way the running back's going. We're putting him in a worst case scenario right now where, where he's got to go find the running back. And in order for him to do that, he's going to have to open, get his hips straight into the backfield, and he's going to have to attack. Come on. And now whichever that way that guy goes, we're going to find him and put the ball in. If he breaks that way, we're going to find him and we're going to put the ball in, okay? But we are going to attack the running back. We're going to get our hips straight back and go find him, okay? Here we go, Jazz. We're just going to do four and that's it. Now, you're coming straight downhill till I point. You ready? Yep. Set. Hit. Good. That's it. Go. Attack him. Attack him. Right here, Mac. Right here, Mac. You ready? Hit. Open right up. Good. Attack him. Good. Good. Attack that backfield. Hit. That's it. Good. 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 Last one. Hit. Good. Good. And so what, again, coaching points, what we're emphasizing here is that when that ball comes, ball's right into our stomach and we are turning and over-opening to our target. Okay? 
it's always easier for me to adjust back to here than it is for me to under open and have to adjust back to here, okay? We want to over open and now we're in a position where wherever that guy goes, we know where he's going to a degree, but wherever he goes, I can find him, I can get my eyes and my shoulders to the delivery point and I can stab the football, okay? Everyday drill for pass. Thank you, running backs. Mac, let's go. Okay. We always talk about our quarterback's postures, and when we have young guys, their posture is all over the place sometimes, and we're trying to get them into, into groove. What this is, is this is something we call drop the line. And all we're going to do is he's going to start from under center, and he is going to drop that line until I wave him off. The beautiful thing about this is it's a continual drop. So we can evaluate his posture and give him feedback right from the first step. Ball, get, get the ball higher. He can raise the ball. Okay, get your, your shoulders forward. He can cock his foot. We can, we can manipulate him and turn him and tweak him wherever we want him to be on the fly. It's continual, okay? Ready, hit. Ball higher, hips forward. Good, hit, that's it, that's it. And we're gonna work a progression off of this. So we can start work, we can actually start work on our transition forward. But for now, I just want you dropping back. The key to this is the posture we want them in is we want the ball in a high shelf level so that they can be athletic in the drop. And then we want their weight forward. And what I tell them is I talk to them about the CN Tower. If the CN Tower is started standing straight up and down and they're dropping back like this and then it comes to a stop, it's gonna tilt back. If the CN Tower's got a little bit of a forward lean to it and it's moving backwards and it stops, it's gonna set into the ground where now it can transfer back forward. So what I want them doing is when they're dropping, I want them to try and pin that chin to this shoulder, keep their, their chest and their shoulders facing here in the drop so that when it's time to, to transition forward, whether it be a five step, three step, any kind of drop, then they can stop, boom, and stick that thing in the floor and start getting their weight back forward, okay? So, so I want you leaning a little bit forward, I want your chin pinned to your shoulder, and I want your shoulders facing here, Mac. Okay. Hit. Slow it down, slow it down. Good, come on, come on. I want, come on, come on. I want you just to drop continual the whole way back, Mac. Ready, hit. Good, nice and easy. Lean forward, lean forward, that's it. Now, if they're going nice and easy like this, I can adjust them as they go. Go ahead, Jazz. Nice and easy, we're not in a foot race. Go. Nice and easy, lean forward. Turn them hips and the torso, there you go. Good, rock the ball, Jazz. Rock the ball, good. There's three pieces of feedback I was able to give him during a continual drop. I'm adjusting him as he goes. One more, Mac. Continue, don't drop until I wave you off, okay? Hit. Good, nice and easy. Lean forward, lean forward. Hit, that's good, okay? Also, every day we wanna get a transfer off of this. Come on, Mac. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him two hits. The first hit's gonna send him going, and then the second hit, I'm trying to catch him by surprise, okay? So I'm gonna send him going with the first one, hit, and he's gonna drop. When I say hit again, he's gotta find his feet and get his transfer back forward, okay? And we don't want him to get caught by surprise. We don't want him to get stuck here and be throwing like that. I'm gonna allow him as many steps as he needs to find to find his feet and get set back into a forward transition. Remember the drill we had? where We had the line through their feet and we're transitioning forward. That's the position I want him in. And as many tech steps as it takes him to stop to find him, to, to find this position, we're gonna let him so that he can get his transfer forward. Go ahead. Hit. Hit. Good. Don't get stuck back there. Find another step, Jazz. Be comfortable. Comfortable. Hit. Hit. Good. Good. Find as many steps as you need to stick here and right off that bat back foot. No hitch up. Hit. Hit. Not bad. That's better. That's better. No hitch up, though. Take as many steps as you need. Hit. Hit. Good. Take as, as many steps as we need. If our momentum's heading back here and I say hit and you need to find this many steps, find that many steps. But as, what we want you to stop is we want you to be in this position when it's time to throw. We're in a perpendicular target, our weight's forward, and now we can come forward and out. We're not in a rush here. Okay, one more. Hit. 
Act, that's what we're looking for. And what's going to happen? This transition is going to be slow. Does this mimic a real life situation? Probably not, but we're always working on a good transition before we work on a quick transition. Well, what I teach these guys and what everyone teaches their guys is the more we invest in our transmission forward, we're gonna make up that time and the quality of the throw, okay? Um, last everyday drill, as we've all, we've all done some sort of a drill where they'll drop, they'll do their five step drop, and then we gotta move in, step up, move in, move in all over the place. We're gonna teach them two moves, and then they're either coming to the line of scrimmage or they're throwing the football, okay? So you're gonna start here, we're gonna do our five step drop, avoid, up, ball, or run, okay? Set a target right here, okay? And we're gonna just rapid fire three right in a row. So right when you throw or right when you run, I want you to get back, we're gonna go again. Hit, hit, up, ball. Good, that's it, ball in the ready, that's it, that's it. Let's go again. Now when you step up, I want you to reset and then come, okay? Hit, avoid, step up. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, through, that's it, good. Hit, step up, avoid, ball. Ball, 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 ball. Ball's a throw, this is run. Yep, hit, avoid, up, ball. That's it, good, Jazz. Jazz is a lot more used to this drill, so it's gonna look a little bit cleaner. Your guys aren't gonna look clean right off the get-go. What we always wanna make sure is that when, they're, when they avoid, they reset. When they step up, they reset. They're always set, feet ready to get the ball out. Hit, step up, avoid, run. That's it, that's it, good, good. One more, one more. Go, avoid, step up, ball. That's it. If you do these three simple drills, we got a run emphasis, two pass emphasis, okay? The pass emphasis is about posture in the drop. It's about in transition forward, you can progress to that. The second one is about avoidance. Uh, things don't work out perfectly. What these guys can do in the pocket in terms of avoid moving, finding a target downfield, or running. Those, those pass lanes open up, they've got somewhere to run. Quarterback on his feet is as good as anybody else. So uh, you work those three drills every day, I guarantee you your quarterbacks start looking more and more like quarterbacks. Thank you, fellas. Thank you.